Hey guys, this is Ben Morrow. I'm a senior concept designer and art director in the game and film industry, currently working on Halo Infinite. Today I want to talk to you guys about sci-fi prop design for games and films. I just think this is a really useful skill for everyone to have, especially if you're starting out. It's a good skill to fall back on. Every project needs a ton of this stuff. If you're struggling to find work or you want to be a more specialized environment or character guy, but are finding, you know, they, they can't keep you on for very long. Skills like this are really handy to have to stay employed longer. So these are some designs I did early on. Some of the first jobs I did on Elysium, working on grenades and props and things. And again, every project needs a ton of this stuff. There's things that actor needs to interact with. They need to have on their wrists. They need some cool guns or prop to interact with. There's just a ton of this stuff is needed on most projects and just it's a really handy skill to have to be able to generate cool ideas for all this kind of stuff for this demo i wanted to do something based on some of my old personal work i really like this kind of red white aesthetic for spaceships and tech and these were kind of some props in the same universe i want to focus on this kind of red white black look and i thought it'd be cool to maybe take the crate on the left and maybe try a bigger version some kind of larger carrying case that could handle bigger cargo and I thought it'd be an interesting challenge to sort of take something that's already established, which is a pretty common job that will happen. There's, you know, the the IP already has the art direction. If you're working on Star Wars or Halo or whatever, there's already kind of a set style guide. And your job is usually to expand that and create variations or whatever to make lots of cool stuff for the level or whatever's needed for the, the project. So I'll be doing something like this, taking... Just a quick idea, like create a bunch of different variations, take one of those variations and then refine it to a presentable level that would be useful to get conversation started or show the director or whoever is hiring you to see where they might want to take this to refine further in 3D or in some cases it's good enough to hand off and start on the next task. So I'm just starting to sketch things out, get some different shapes and proportions in there. I'll go over some warm-up exercises in the intro to design video, which I probably should have done here because it's been a while since I've done design sketch variations, but just getting the rust off and coming up with some cool shapes and forms to make some interesting variations for this task. Just trying to play with general shapes to create something that looks a bit bigger and tougher, looking at the real world military crates to take as inspiration and then trying some alternate variations that could be interesting. I'm trying to take some design cues from the earlier crate sketch I did. There were some interesting form transitions and I made a really tough looking locking mechanism on the side, which I'm trying to emphasize in some of these, uh, the lower right one in particular, trying to have these two front clasps be really tough looking. So even if the viewer doesn't know what it is, they can kind of get a sense that it's this tough futuristic military crate. Also trying to emphasize some of the form transitions from the earlier crate that kind of emphasize the kind of cross medical symbol. So some of these like industrial band looking forms around the design uh, just help emphasize and make it relate back to the earlier design. So I did these kind of five different sketches, but I felt the one in the upper right was a little too similar. And if I was presenting this, I just felt like there wouldn't be enough variety. So I extended that crate out. Maybe it's more of like a gun medical crate that could have some longer tube type forms in there as opposed to some more traditional looking forms that the other ones were looking like. So now I'm trying to create a graphic design breakup of this. Uh, the earlier crate kind of had an 80-20, maybe 70-30 breakup of red and white. So I'm just playing with different versions of that. It becomes like a big yin yang of color to balance out these shapes. For this, I'm just trying to play with different ideas for that. The one in the middle, I felt maybe we try the opposite. So instead of 80-20 red heavy, we tried a white heavy one to just play with some ideas and looks that, that could potentially work for this task while also helping expand the look so everything doesn't look identical. It's good to have a little variety and variation in there to add a lot of character to these props that we would see in the world. So at this point, I have five different variations. I think all of these are pretty valid solutions to the design problem I set for myself. I chose four and five just because I thought they were kind of interesting. Four being more of a 
typical crate you might find in most sets and environments that's kind of could be used everywhere and five being more of a heavy duty carrying case that, that could be stacked real easy. So taking five a little further, I just started breaking things down. There was something bugging me about the initial breakup I did. It was just, it just felt a bit too like 50, 50 split with the graphic design breakup. So I did a, try to do a quick version on the left, breaking it up, maybe a little more 60, 40. This is something I'll talk about more in the intro to design video, but just being very conscious and aware of the graphic design breakup and balance of your color and shapes is just a really important thing to understand and be conscious of to start growing as a designer. It wasn't really sitting well with me, the 50-50 breakup, but I felt like the 60-40 wasn't feeling quite right either or, or skewing it like 70-30, 80-20 just didn't feel as interesting. So I just stuck with the 50-50 breakup. This being kind of like a medical thing, the balance of the shapes being 50-50 kind of makes sense in this circumstance. If you are starting out and are struggling to understand this concept, you can run a threshold layer over your design to really see just the straight black and white shapes to really get and understand what this concept is. So again, seeing it in black and white really shows you the shapes you are creating with the colors. And I kind of don't mind the 50-50 actually seeing it in black and white. It's basically emphasizing the big health plus symbol, which I felt just created a stronger visual metaphor that would resonate with audiences and viewers. So I decided to just stick with the 50-50 breakup and push forward with the detail pass on it. So moving forward, I take the sketch I wanted to refine further into Photoshop, uh, turn the colors off and set the opacity down. So it's just a faint outline of the design I would like to refine. I start using a tool called Lazy Nizumi, which is a plugin for Photoshop. It's really affordable and handy. Um, I use it quite a bit for tighter, final perspective drawings, just to get nice clean line work instead of having to rotate the canvas around all the time. I highly recommend it. So just getting in there and cleaning up all the shapes, making sure everything's in perspective as much as you can. Some of these industrial looking forms on the top, it can sometimes be helpful to draw in 2D flat view and then warping into perspective. Kind of getting the perspective outline where I want it and turning the color back on to start working and refining the graphic design breakup for, to a more final look. Cutting and pasting elements from the earlier painting I did to reuse. So again, everything's consistent. Thinking about maybe adding a cast shadow for presentation. I'm not sure if I keep that in the end. For decals and things, I used some, I think I just Googled like Gundam decals to find some just generic looking caution or hazard symbols. On established IPs, there's usually already a really strict set of graphic design and decal sets that you'll be given. There's also a lot of things for sale on Gumroad from graphic designers. You can also look for model kits and things like this that will have decal sheets that you can scan or have already been scanned online. A lot of resources out there if you look for things to get some nice uh, high-res graphic design assets to start putting on your sci-fi designs to add a little more realism to them. Playing around with final graphic breakup, trying to get the medical crate, playing with some more assets from the earlier sketch just to, again, keep it consistent, getting some triangles and things in there, playing with graphic designs and decals to start selling the realism of the design, getting some shadows and all the good stuff in there. Uh, it's a really effective approach and technique though, just getting the line drawing, some basic colors, just keep the graphic breakup without any lighting on it, add a shadow pass, add a highlight pass, it's it's almost like old school manga or animation cell background painting techniques. They would just, you know, line drawing, flat basic colors, shadow, highlight, and you kind of get something really, it, it just starts selling the, the forms really quickly and you get something pretty presentable and effective pretty quick. So just making some final adjustments, uh, I noticed a few things were slightly out of perspective or some some tiny, final tweaks and things to make everything look more presentable. Get the blue touch screen on the front to glow and react with the handle. Make sure the color breakup on the top was following the form of the industrial shapes I put up there. 
just getting all the forms to read, get the highlights to read, make sure it looks nice and presentable. So once all that's done, you can kind of see the rough sketch and where we cleaned it up and tightened it so that it's you know ready to go to send off to your director or client. This is just a really fast and efficient design sketch and refinement technique for production. I hope you guys found this useful and try it out in your workflows. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.